the Washington Post report that says that the administration was warned beforehand by insurers, health care officials about potential problems with the health care website. Can you confirm that? And if that is the case, why weren't those problems vetted? Why wasn't the start date delayed by a few days or a few weeks so that people could actually go online and sign up and get health care? Sure. What I can tell you is that, as we said all along in the run-up, that there would be, an, in an enterprise of this nature, uh, that had not been done before, uh, much as was the case with the startups of other significant government programs, including Medicare Part D under President George W. Bush, uh, we expected there would be uh, problems and glitches that needed to be fixed along the way. You were warned? Well, I, I, I don't think, I, I, again, I, I, I'm not aware of the specific uh, conversations that are, are reported there. What I can say is that everyone was aware and we told you that there would be glitches and there would be problems. Uh, and, it, and we have told you and been very transparent about the fact that the interest has been even greater than we expected, uh, which is a, uh, a high class problem. So what I can tell you is that uh, as was the case when uh, the new operating system for the Apple iPhone was released, uh, they didn't pull it off the market and, uh, and nobody called for Apple to stop selling iPhones. They fixed the problem and moved forward and that's what we're doing. Every day we're taking steps to address this problem. Every day uh, the problem, uh, the situation improves and more and more uh, Americans, uh, the millions who have demonstrated their interest in uh, finding out about the uh, opportunities uh, for health insurance through the marketplaces uh, are finding that experience easier. We've taken action to ensure that you can enroll and, com and shop through the call centers uh, uh, to alleviate some of the burden created by the, uh, uh, by the issues with the website. But each day this is going to get better. And uh, it's a six-month, uh, you know, in answer to your question, uh, it's a six-month enrollment period. And this problem is being improved, this situation is being addressed day by day and improving day by day. And we expect that to be the case. The primary, ex the, the primary explanation that you have given for these glitches is the unexpectedly high volume of traffic that you mm -hmm. got. This report suggests that that's not entirely true. So do you stand by that as an explanation, or are there the other main, reasons? Yes, the, the central problem caused, including you know, the issues with the server, as I discussed the, uh, discussed the, other, discussed the other day, and, the, and, and uh, you know, are driven by high volume. Uh, there is no question that there are fixes that are being made and need to be made uh, because these problems have been exposed and exacerbated by the volume. Uh, but they're driven by the volume. And uh, again, I'm not saying that this is a situation that doesn't need fixing. It does, which is why we're, we're, make, you know, we're making improvements every day. People are working overnight to uh, make those improvements to the website. Uh, what is absolutely the case, and you've seen it anecdotally reported across the country, is that Americans are finding out that they have, for the first time, affordable health insurance available to them. Uh, Americans are making the choice to enroll and purchase that insurance. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think that, as I've said in the past, that one of the reasons why we're having it at this impasse and, and you know, uh, Tea Party Republicans, you know, shut down the government over Obamacare is because they know that this, that it's the law of the land, as the Speaker of the House said after last year's election, and it's being implemented. And as it gets implemented, more and more Americans are discovering uh, that there are benefits available to them that will improve their lives, make their lives more secure. And whether, if you're a, you know, a, f a family of four and, you know, you're a father or mother who votes Republican every time, who voted against Barack Obama and voted against uh, Democrats who supported Obamacare, and you find out that you can affordably purchase health insurance for your family, good quality insurance and coverage, you're going to do it because it's the right thing to do. And uh, right now this is not about, when it comes to the provision of these benefits to the American people, it's not about politics anymore. It's just about individuals and families deciding what's right for them and finding out that there are protections and services available to them through the Affordable Care Act that they never had before. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's why we're going to continue to work to make sure that the healthcare.gov site is improved uh, and to make sure that the millions of Americans who have demonstrated their interest in uh, finding out about these marketplaces and the many options available to them are getting the best possible consumer experience they can. Do you know, Jay, if by chance,